everybody, welcome back to the mail show. Today I have a box from Field Notes. <coughs> I think this is their summer package. It comes in a fancy box, just like the last one. I have it around here somewhere. Um, it is covered in these cool drawings, uh, which is nice. And it looks like it's the, I think it's the new, maybe not that new, but the Chicago location of, I guess the only location of the headquarters. I went there before they moved and it didn't look like this so I don't know what it looks like now but let's crack into it. All right, um, let me make sure this is the right angle. Okay. So first off we have a sticker and we'll get to that in a second. Um, interesting. We got our typical we got our typical normal things. Graph and ruled. Then we have these which I think yeah, this is like the, the ones I got last time, 10th anniversary ones. Um, let's open these just to make sure. <clears throat> Ouch. Just stab myself with that thing. Yeah, the one that's like the the red book, and it's got it's got something funny on it. I don't remember what it is though. anything funny on it but yeah I'm thinking of something else or no yeah right here the, the guarantee um, yeah anyways that's that's pretty cool let's get into ooh, the real the real deal here we've got our sticker uh, 2018 calendar which I think I already have I should already have because it's the summer one I think and then yeah the renewal Thing. There's the box. All right, let's look at this sticker real quick. Let's go back to the moon. Um, this reminds me of the space shuttle sticker that was sold not by Field Notes, but just by I think Draplin himself. Uh, I have two of them. One of them I put on my laptop. The other one I cannot find. Um, anyways, Ooh. all right. Interesting. Three missions. A set of three, three missions. Let's crack open one of these. Okay, so we have the books themselves. Ooh, wow, these look really nice. We have this one. In the back, this is Mercury missions, program information. Notable missions. This is really cool. Uh, the inside is graph paper. Um, it has the uh, the typical materials list, and this time, or I don't know if in the special ones they have like the what you can write down in this notebook, but they don't have it on this one. It's interesting. The next one is Gemini, and also graph paper. Insides are the same, except it has stuff about Gemini instead of Mercury. Uh, Similar stuff on the back. And then the last one should be Apollo, right? Apollo. Ooh, mine mine got a little wedged by the I assume by this, but it's alright. Also graph paper inside look the same, but with Apollo instead of Gemini or Mercury. And then fun fact. That's pretty cool. Here are the backs, and then here are the fronts, and here are the fronts in this way. Hopefully these are on screen all right. Um, yeah, America orbits the Earth, America walks in space, and America walks in the moon. These are really, really cool. These are really nice. I definitely have to say my favorite is this one. I really like this one. These are really cool. Now let's get on to whatever this is. Here's just cardboard. And then, ooh, ooh. Okay, just a second. We have, includes facts and figures, plus three punch out and assemble crew capsules. Oh man, this is sick. All right, okay. 
So here they are. They're all conic, so I assume that they are um, not to be creased. Mercury, Gemini, Apollo. Right, right, because there's three in the thing. And then there's another one, so you get to make three more. This is very cool. Apollo, Gemini, and Mercury. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'm going to build the Apollo one because it looks like it has the, well, it does have the least parts. It's the most simple. Um, so it says, punch out carefully, gently curl all pieces between two fingers before assembling. Work in alphabetical order. Glue or tape should not be necessary, but may help durability. Um, I have uh, clear tape if we need it. So let's see. says tuck. I don't know, I really like how Field Notes has very literal, I guess. Um, I don't know, I like how Field Notes carries themselves in such a way that it's very, like, realistic. I don't know, like, it just says tuck, and just stuff that's, like, it's not necessary, but it just, like, the specifications, which, I mean, although it has, like, info and stuff, it's, it's a nice touch, and it's not in other stuff. I don't know, I like that a lot. Anyways, let's work in alphabetical order. It says A is the big one. Alright. Uh, it stopped recording because God knows what reason. Um, but I forgot whatever what I, I forgot what I was saying when it cut out. And I will now have to edit this together because of it stopped. So I'm gonna have to take a lot more time out of this video. Anyways, this is what I got so far. This part I have to do on the inside. I think that's maybe what I was uh, thinking about before the phone became dumb. You can connect the dots in your imagination what this will look like with the top on. Uh, this is pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I wish it came with stands. Although at the same time, you could probably fit a toothpick in the bottom of here and stick it in some cork or something. That would look pretty cool. Anyways, this took quite a while to do. These will take even longer, I'm sure. Uh, but I think that about wraps it up for today's video on the newest Field Notes collection. Here are the books. Now oh, they're in shot. The sticker. I hope to put this on my laptop, although I'll have to free up some laptop real estate because I've already got a bunch of stickers on there already. Got another one of these handy dandy cardboard calendar. I think that wraps it up for this video. Uh, see you guys next time. I decided to finish building the uh, other ones. Uh, this one didn't turn out too, too well. It's, it's really hard to fold the paper right and stick everything in. Uh, this one turned out okay. And this one uh, was the simplest. It turned out all right. Um, yeah. So, that's what they... So this is what they look like. See, it's this one really isn't the best construction. Probably my fault, but I don't know. If I had like an X-Acto knife to better punch out the holes, um, things would be better. But yeah, here's the finished product. Anyways, see ya.